Hey guys, welcome back to another ZT Global Market Recap video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin and a few favorites that I've seconded out, such as Avalanche, Matic, Mana, and Ethereum, just to take a little comprehensive look into what the market's doing right now. Spoiler alert, we're looking pretty bullish. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and check out ZT Global if you want to find out the best play to earn games out there. Now, before I started recording, I saw a very cool one right here listed uh, called VRA. Now, I don't know if you've heard of VRA, but it's one of the coolest uh, projects out there in the play to earn segment, and it's making some rapid moves recently. Obviously, you can get it on ZT, but you know, I thought, why not? And just add a little piece of uh, analysis on VRA as well. So currently we broke out of a nice downtrend and uh, you know, you could call it a falling wedge. You could call it a bullish correction pattern, but currently we've broken out. And the next piece of resistance that we do have is this yellow line or the 200 period moving average. Now we're going to see how it goes right there, but I do personally expect this coin to continue rallying. If Bitcoin is rallying as well, we have a zone of resistance that should now act as support and propel the price even further towards more upside. Now, you may notice that throughout this whole video, I'm going to be using specifically the daily time frame because I'm looking more of an investment from an investment sort of standpoint rather than day trading. Because if you were day trading, you can go into the hourly time frame and you can try to anticipate these moves on a lower scale, which is uh, beneficial, but only for day traders, right? So let's move into Bitcoin. Now, I've been talking about this scenario for quite some time, and there was a few different scenarios for Bitcoin that I personally saw. One of them was a break above the 45K mark, and one of them was a break below the 34K level of support. And what we did was break above the 45K level. Now, a lot of you out there might be thinking, OK, what if this is a bull trap? You know, what if they're gaining liquidity right here to short the market tremendously, triggering orders and moving all the way down into 20K? Well, that's not entirely a, uh, you know, tinfoil hat conspiracy. And I would be lying if I said that there was not a possibility of that happening. Well, there is, you know, the market can always do anything. But we're always here, as I say pretty frequently, we're here to react to the market, not try to predict what the market's doing. And currently, the only reaction that is worthy of this move is a nice tap on the back for Bitcoin and a nice little, uh, you know, relief as we did break through the 45k mark and are looking pretty bullish right now. Now, there is a few zones of resistance that are going to be waiting for us. The first one more significant is at the 51k level. So something realistic that we could expect right now is something along the lines of this. Resistance formed retracement back into the zone of previous resistance, which would now act as support in a perfect market. And then a continuation to more upside, finding more resistance, finding support at the previous resistance level and hitting the previous all time high. So that makes perfect sense. And that is in the ideal world what would happen. But since we're not really in an ideal world, I guess the market is just going to do what it wants. Now, one of the possibilities that you should keep in mind is on the weekly time frame. Uh, you know, we did have a break of the 45k zone in the last week, which is a very nice and very significant indicator, right? So it makes perfect sense that this week we could reach the 51k level and then from there on out find some resistance. Now, in the case of a bull trap, we're just going to find resistance and then break out all the way down and, you know, cause somewhat of a false break. But I guess we're just going to recap on Monday once again and see what the situation is right there. But for now, very, very bullish. Now, when it comes to Ethereum, we're in a similar situation. We broke out of somewhat of a triangle pattern and we're currently moving up with no significant zones of resistance in sight, except for this one that I can notice at the $4,000 mark. It is a psychologically significant level being around number. So I expect Ethereum to nicely rally into this zone and then make a reaction from there, either a break or a retracement in uh, you know the form of a double top or a head and shoulders pattern or something like that and then continue moving down for a retracement which is completely normal right you can always plot your flip levels and see what a ideal uh, retracement actually is in the market so let's say we hit this zone right here and we want to retrace we make a retracement into the 61 percent fib level create a double bottom and then go for a larger break of the previous all-time high when it comes to mana well this is one of the largest metaverse 
uh, oriented coins out there also a break of this nice and long retracement pattern nice and long uh, correction or, or how do you how do you even call it sometimes i forget it's a counter trend line right and uh, we have the big main trend line we have a counter trend line broken out and it's basically the similar scenario as what happened here except this here was driven by facebook changing their name to meta which induced a lot of hype into the actual mana coin and this right here is going to be a little bit more organic but we do have two important zones that I'm keeping an eye out on. One of them is the $3.4 mark where we could find some minor resistance, but then it's pretty much clear sailing into the previous all-time high level. And lastly for today, we're talking about AVAX. I'm not gonna talk over Matic. I don't think there's any point right now because you understand my point. Every single coin out there had a nice correction pattern and every single coin pretty much broke out. So currently, if you're not in the market, I wouldn't advise trying to chase it and get into it. No, just wait for a move up and then wait for a retracement and then be even more sure of your position and then wait for more upside. Pretty much what I expect from the whole market right now. And the best strategy for long term investing, investing, if you ask me, is probably dollar cost averaging. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. Lastly, I'm not a financial advisor and anything you do invest in crypto, blockchain or NFT projects is on your own liability and you should do your own due diligence. So check out ZT for some amazing play to earn projects, newest listed ones and top gainers on the exchange. And I do hope to see you guys in the next video.